Hey everyone, yeah, my voice is a little um, gone, blown out. I don't know if you guys saw, I defeated a Lionel last night on stream for my first time and I blew out my voice like celebrating. So this is what you get from me today. <laughs> and I'll be live streaming again tonight. So who knows what voice is going to be left at the end of that. That being said, hi, we're talking about Switch Pro again. Man, the news doesn't stop, does it? Now, here's the dealio. We are giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards through the link in the description or the pinned comment. So, Nate the Hate, a.k.a. Nate Drake, the man who told us that there would be exclusive third-party games on the Switch Pro, went ahead and did a little bit of a podcast situation, a little bit of a conversation with John from Spawn Wave. I'll link it down below. And there's a couple things on here I wanted to cover that really clarify some things with Switch Pro, at least based on what he is hearing and what he knows. So he told John, because they talked about a couple things. Obviously, the exclusives, which he confirms, again, third-party games are going to be exclusive. He thinks it's possible in two or three years we could see Nintendo exclusive games. But he just knows that there's going to be some third-party exclusives. He gives examples. It could be something like Madden, you know, Resident Evil, I don't know, something like that. A game that just isn't possible on the current Switch, but could be on a pro version. So that's kind of the direction he's going there. And yeah, obviously he knows about one game. He's not going to tell you who it is, Source, or any of that jazz. Obviously, he's not going to do that. He just knows that there's at least one in the works. But here's one thing that's interesting. So John asked him specifically about 4K. About 4K. And his response was interesting. He says, everything I have been hearing, the Switch Pro is going to achieve 4K with DLSS. AKA native 1080p while docked, DLSS to hit 4K. That is what he has been hearing. Now, it's interesting because John from Spawnwave noted that he hopes that there's not going to be a new dock. I have some bad news for him. He should know this as well, obviously, if he would have thought more about it at the time. The chipset inside the dock can't output anything more than 1080p. So even if the switch unlocked itself and allowed a 4K signal to come out of it into the switch dock, the switch dock itself cannot output anything past 1080p. So, yeah, there's going to be a new dock. It just is what it is. But, uh, yeah, so DLSS. I've talked about this before. DLSS is obviously really important to the future of a Switch Pro. Um, it's a technology that already exists. And if you didn't know, NVIDIA was already hiring someone to work on DLSS for a Tegra chip. We talked about this a while ago, but they were hiring someone specifically to make a chip that was targeting gaming consoles. Well, NVIDIA doesn't have any gaming consoles. They have the NVIDIA Shield TV, which they don't call a gaming console, and then their Switch. So, yeah, whatever chip he was working on with DLSS, that's like a factual thing NVIDIA was publicly hiring for. Then we had other insiders tell us it's going 4K, it's using DLSS, and people are like, oh, no, it's not. Now we have another kind of sort of industry insider being like, hey, the people he's talked to, it happens. It's 4K with DLSS. Now, the rest of that podcast is more conversational, personal opinions. They talk about whether or not the Switch is going to come now, Switch is going to come later. And I'll link to Nate the Hate and Spawn Waves channel down below. They're both great channels. Both have amazing podcasts. Uh, a new podcast from Nate the Hate is dropping like any day now. So he'll be talking all about Switch Pro and deep diving in that Bloomberg article. But still, DLSS, deep learning, super sampling, is an amazing technology that's only gotten better with age. And they don't necessarily have to use tensor cores to use DLSS, but so far, every instance of DLSS uses tensor cores to some degree. So chances are there would be tensor cores. Chances are it's going to be a more powerful chip. Uh, you could theoretically attach tensor cores to an X1, 
much more likely they're going to be using a slightly newer architecture. Uh, if you look at the Tegra Xavier chip, which I talked about in a prior video, more information on that up here. If you look at the Xavier chip, which is literally beyond the Tegra X1, uh, it uses a Volta GPU, which is the first thing to have DLSS officially. What's interesting is that GPU, that, that, that Tegra chip, is actually backwards compatible with the X1. That, that was something people were concerned about is, is it going to be backwards compatible? It is. So basically publishers and developers don't have to do anything for their games to run on it. So it, it's perfect for a family of Switch systems that also gives you a little extra juice, helps power that OLED panel, give you native 720p, native 1080p, DLSS to 4K. No, this is not going to be a PlayStation 5. It's not going to be an Xbox Series X. And yes, believe it or not, AMD's version, Super FX, their version of the LSS, is going to be coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X the same time this spring that it comes to, well, PC parts. So, yeah, that's just going to make the gap seem even bigger. Because now... Hey, look, they don't even have to re-render or do any rendering tricks. They can just say, look, we're going to give you a 1440p image. We're going to push visuals to the max. And boom, their version, Super FX, all the way up to 4K. So uh, it is what it is. It, this is good technology across the board. Um, I'm just glad to see another person inside the industry being like, yeah, we're getting DLSS. Um, that being said, I'm going to kind of rest my voice for the rest of the day. Um Gargle my salt water, do my thing, get my voice fully recovered so I can live stream with you guys tonight. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.